With DraftSite, the commands hatch and fill allow for the different materials and the components of your drawing to be clearly defined. Hatch does this by filling your entities with a line pattern or design of your choice. You can even control the direction of the pattern and apply it to the elements with unclosed boundaries. The fill command acts pretty similar, but rather than an align pattern, it saturates your entities with a gradient of any color you choose. It even allows you to add more than one color and control the pattern and orientation of the gradient design. So let's take a look at an example. Here we have a drawing in the model space of a library with the surrounding landscape. If we zoom in on one of the pathways, we can see a variety of hatch patterns and colors tied to those hatches that represent various aspects of the landscape. So, say we want to change the herringbone hatch pattern associated to the walkway. Well, we can simply click on the desired hatch, and this opens up the hatch editor as a contextual tab at the top of the screen. Here we are, easily prompted with the ability to change the pattern, adjust the scale, the orientation, and the line color, and the layer that is associated to. So let's change the pattern. We'll select the brick pattern, we will scale it to 0.015, and we'll change the orientation to an angle of 135, and we'll also keep it on the same layer. You can also use the fill command. Let's pan over to the entity associated to a small pond or a body of water. If we double click on the entity, a hatch slash fill window will appear, allowing you to easily change the color. This window prompts you with the ability to select one or two colors, the orientation, and adjust the symmetry. So let's change the color to a bolder blue and hit OK.